Welcome everyone, my name is Brendan Snyder, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new album by former White Lions vocalist Mike Tramp. The album is called Second Time Around, and it's actually his 12th solo album and his 27th studio album overall. This is counting all of his bands and solo material together. He's also released two box sets of unreleased material. So all of that together, he's one of the most proficient musical artists from the 80s overall, uh, in my opinion. Uh, for some background music, we're going to listen to a sort of tribute album, if you will. Um, he did an album called Remembering White Lion, where he did White Lion songs uh, in his new uh, sort of straight rock or folk rock style music that his solo albums are in. And so we're going to play some of that in the background while we do this. Now, to give you a little background on Mike Tramp, uh, he was born in Denmark. He's not actually American or uh, New York as we like to think of him in terms of uh, White Lion. So he's born in Denmark. He got a start in 1977 in a band called Mabel, uh, followed that by Studs in 1981. And then uh, he relocated to New York City and uh, met Vito Brada, formed White Lion in 1983. Now, their first album, Fight to Survive, was released in 1985. It was only released in Japan, so they didn't get as much traction on it here in the States as they would like. Uh, next up, they released in 1987, Pride, and this is the album that they finally broke through to the mainstream on. Uh, this one featured two top 10 hits on the Billboard Hot 100. The songs Wait and When the Children Cry is probably their most uh, well-known song. The song is an uh, acoustic-based song where it's just um, Mike Tramp on vocals and Vito Barada on acoustic guitars. There's actually no bass or drums on it. So in 1987, that was long before acoustic songs had become so popular. They were one of the first to do that. The album ultimately went on to sell 2 million copies in the United States alone. Next up in 1989, they released their third album, Big uh, Game, and it contained um, the songs Little Fighter and Radar Love, Radar Love being a cover of the Golden Era Earring, sorry, Golden Earring song from the 1970s. And then finally in 1991, their last album under the classic lineup, uh, Main Attraction. Now, at that point, that's when, you know, grunge hit, kind of changed the musical landscapes and everything. And so ultimately, they called it a day and disbanded in 1991. Now, interestingly, in the mid-1990s, Mike Tramp actually sold all of his rights to the White Lion catalog to guitarist Vito Barada. And now he owns all the rights to uh, the music of White Lion. I'm not sure why that took place, but uh, interesting that he would give up... Um, you know, writes to the songs that he wrote. Uh, in 1992, he formed a new band called Freak of Nature, and they released two albums, this one here and uh, Gathering of Freaks. Um, but the albums or the band itself uh, didn't connect with uh, fans. It was a darker sound, uh, less of the classic White Lion song, and just didn't really connect. And ultimately, they disbanded in 1996. And then in 1998, he finally returned, uh, this time as a solo artist with his album Capricorn. This is still my favorite out of all of his albums, uh, probably because it was the first one that I got, uh, but I do really like it. I just think all the songs on that are really strong. The style of it is less of that big 80s sound. It's more introspective uh, with that folk rock or straight rock sound. Uh, so since that time, he has released uh, 12 solo albums and did one reunion album as White Lion. He was the only original member in it, but he did do one under the White Lion uh, name called Return of the Pride. Um, and unfortunately, at that point, Vito Barada, owning all the rights to the White Lion catalog, then asked him to stop. And as they are still really good friends, he abided by that and folded that lineup and went back to doing uh, his solo thing. And so that brings us up to the point of this new release that came out Friday, May 1st, 2020, called Second Time Around. And so this album here is an interesting album. It's actually a reinterpretation of songs from his 2009 album, 
rock and roll circus. Uh, this taking place right after White Lion, the reunited White Lion album that he did. He also did another album called Stand Your Ground um, under that name, the Rock and Roll Circus. So this is a reinterpretation of that album from 2009. It strips away much of the gloss and pop of the original making up, much more rock as I would call it. Uh, the songs have been updated in a more classic sounding way. It's less a sort of the in the moment sounds like drum machines, effects, keyboards, that kind of stuff. So for as an example on the songs, uh, the song on this album that was called No Tomorrow has been retitled as No More Tomorrow. Gone are the electric drums, keyboards, and pop sound to that song. In its place is almost an entirely new song uh, that rocks with a new melodic lead guitar intro and a much harder edge to it. Uh, they've also added some female background vocals to it, giving it a cool classic rock feel. Another song on there called uh, Between Good and Bad. Uh, this one, Gone, is the psychedelic feel to it, and it's replaced with organ, almost making it feel more, much, more like a classic rock song as well. I think he's definitely attempted to make this album feel less of a period type and more classic sounding. Uh, the overall song itself has been uh, cleaned up and given less of a, uh, that pop feel and more grittiness to it. And so this is the uh, front cover to it. And then here's the back side of it. Two really great pictures of uh, Mike himself. Uh, ten tracks on it. So it is a diggy pack here. Um, booklet in here. We'll pop this disc out just to give you a, a view of that. Still the same on the underside. And then the booklet just pulls right out there. And it's just uh, cool background imagery shots with lyrics and things like that throughout. But there you go, that's what the uh, inside of this booklet is. And that's the, uh, the album by Mike Tramp second time around. Now the bottom line on this is that while the solo material uh, has less of that big 80s sound to it, I think his vocals are still just as defining and impressive as ever. And listening to this album, I feel like it's you're returning to an old friend hearing uh, Mike Tramp, uh, you know, after having grown up on the classic White Lion. And I still think Mike tells some amazing stories in his songs with a really great passion. I feel like the album itself uh, provides a lot of inspiration. It does to me, I think it will to you. And I recommend checking it out and giving your old pal Mike a second chance on this as the album itself called Second Time Around. Let's give him a second time around as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts and I hope everyone has a great day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.